Wester Ross Salmon is an extended family of salmon farmers from a remote village in Scotland. They've been practicing this traditional method of salmon farming. They're not using any machines. They're just out there on the water every day, tending to the salmon. And they hand feed them three times a day. And they're keeping their paddocks at a super low density. Like we're talking 1%, which means that they're able to really monitor them and make sure that the entire population of fish is actually really, really healthy. It makes for a really clean and delightful product. The fact that they have such a low density in these pens allows for them to kind of imitate being a wild salmon, which really makes for a nice balanced flavor. The salmon is really fatty and buttery and has a lovely mouthfeel and makes for a really nice raw dish. So in this dish, I simply slice the salmon and then serve them with an array of market vegetables that are available right now. So I got cucumbers, peas, and some really lovely gem lettuces. And I dress them all with a nam jim, which is like a Thai condiment with some serrano and some cilantro and some ginger and some fish sauce. So, you know, lots of complexity of flavor there. And then just finished it with some chopped peanut and some fresh herbs and some flowers just to make it look lovely. The salmon also do really nicely with a grilled or seared prep. So for this dish, I simply took one of the loins, I kept the skin on, and we grilled it over some binchotan coal. And then we grilled up some spring onions with some fava tops, and some mussels, and then just make a spring herb pesto into a sauce. And then I simply garnished it with some fennel fronds and some flowers that are available at this point in time. For a fish of this quality, I really don't want to cook it any more than medium rib. So it still has this lovely mouthfeel, this lovely translucency, and eats really nicely.